So who are we? Man has pondered this question for millennia. We look up and stare at the vastness of space and are amazed at its beauty. But we don't need to look too far to see that the human body is also a magnificent creation of our Creator. So what are we composed of? Just X's and Y's that determine whether we're going to be a female or a male? But really there's a difference between gender and sex. And particularly in this day and age, I think it's important for us that are in the medical profession to understand that there is a distinct difference between gender and sex. We know that a male is X and Y and that a female is X and X. And each of us, male and female, will donate one of our chromosomes to our offspring. We're familiar that, you know, we may have a girl or, you know, we may have a boy who will be XY. But in any case, that would be their genetic sex, not necessarily their gender. So it's important to understand that there are anomalies that can occur while the child is in the womb that can cause their phenotypical sexual characteristics to be opposite of what their genotypes are. Now, when we look at the human development, we need to understand first and foremost how a child is born. What are the steps that it goes through? What are the miraculous phases that the human body is able to create another human being. So when we think about genetic sexual determination as opposed to a phenotypic gender determination, we have to be a little open-minded because they are quite different and it's anomalies that occur during embryonic development that can cause phenotypical sexual characteristics to be opposite of what the genetic sex is of the individual. And we'll look at that more in detail. However, I think it's important 